Morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the day of the video, Darren. How's it good today? Today, we are on campus. It's 10 to 8. I literally hit every single red light I possibly could hit today. It was mad. I've never hit so many red lights. It's been ridiculous. Oh, it's very dark and grey weather as well. Very windy too. I don't have any gloves in my pocket either, so like, I put them in it's just cold. Because <laughs> it's just like, like a velvet texture instead of like nice woolly mittens. Anyway, um, so yeah, we got up a little bit late this morning. I got a bit dis disorientated by the alarm. Um, but headed out on the normal time and then literally red light, red light, red light, red light. It was horrible. And then I got stuck behind a bus on the fast roads. Uh, well, I say stuck behind a bus, stuck behind like three cars on a bus, um, which means it was hard to, couldn't overtake it. Oh, which meant I'm here relatively later than normal. But I mean, like I can't actually get into the rooms until eight o'clock unless I go to the library first. So it's not too bad. Um, this morning I need to get quite a lot of stuff done. Um, I've got to upload two daily vlogs, um, catch up on some admin related to that. I've got quite a bit of admin I think I need to do. Um, but also the main priority is programming. Um, I know where I'm gonna go work this morning though. It's free literally until like three o'clock. So that's where I'm gonna go. Although it's not the most pleasant room to go and work in. It's not too bad, you know? So today is likely gonna be a boring day. The only other thing you'll need to, well, Today is literally like one lecture, working all day. Um, the only other thing that's going on today is our internet's getting installed. So brace yourself for another rant on how shit PlusNet is, because I've got a feeling it won't be installed, so... It is like, well, eight o'clock here, according to my watch. So the door might not be open yet. I am very surprised. Right, where's the lights controlled? Have we got a computerized one, is it just light switches? It's dark in here. Right, okay, so, like I say, like it's not the best room to work in, because it's dark and dingy and in the basement, but it's available all morning. So we're gonna use it. These light switches. Yes. Oh no, I just turn them all off. Oh no. Ah, it's better. <laughs> I'm caught up on daily vlogs and the like, and I'm just, um, uh, going through, this is the point where I regret picking, like I picked my final year supervisor because I knew he'd push me. I knew he'd push me hard to do everything that needs to be done. But he's now like responded that I make changes to something, the project proposal, which I uploaded ages ago. And the purpose of the project proposal is so that they can select a second marker for me. Like it's unmarked. There is no grade for this. And he's marked it as if it's degraded <laughs> and as if I care that it's that maybe here I've um like apparently he's made like two different marks one of them's on the Gantt chart saying like is it is it responsible to plan um doing work over exam period um <laughs> that's uh, completely irrelevant mate <laughs> you know what I mean so anyway yeah videos are up to scratch now um I'm back on top of stuff I am now just going to go through my Programming, yay! I'm gonna go over my parallel programming stuff and wait for, well, I'm not waiting for Andy, but Andy's gonna pop into here at some point soon. Um, waiting for him and then I'm probably gonna go to the loo because I need a week. Guess who I'm on hold with? I'm literally shaking, I'm so furious. I threatened to put the internet, the phone down on me because I was getting a bit irate. Apparently an engineer's coming around on the 20th to do everything. even though everything was set to be the 16th. The manager's calling me back later today, and hopefully my fucking best friend, Lauren, who was helping me out last week, is gonna fucking help me as well. I'm so fucking, I wonder if I just plug it in. I'm just gonna plug everything in, fuck it. Let's see if it works. The internet's gonna be installed on the 20th. An engineer is coming around to my property to install it on the 20th. No one's gonna be here on the 20th because I'm at uni, Laura's at work. Ah, oh, I've said they've booked an appointment in for the morning without even telling us. And I've said, look, I'm available in the afternoon. Rearrange it for the afternoon or Wednesday. I'm free all day Wednesday. Oh, fucking, I'm so mad. It's just so not funny. It's really fucking not. I really wanted to come home today, plug in the router and it worked. 
And then you know what I'll be able to do? I'll be able to do my intelligent agents coursework. I'll be able to just sit here and do work. I'd be able to spend the time that I've spent today sat here making phone calls, doing work. But I haven't. All I've been doing is typing up lecture notes because I couldn't have gone to the library because I'm on the phone and because I need an internet connection. It's so unfucking funny that I rung them two months ago and they still haven't organised everything that they need to organise to connect me. The customer service from the first person who put the phone down on me because I, well, he threatened to put the phone down on me because I was irate was absolutely shocking. She was literally useless. The person that was good lied to me and didn't contact me. No one ever contacts you. This guy, I just spoken to a manager, he says, well, we can chase it up with OpenReach to make sure that they're gonna do it and we can try and rearrange it so you'll be around. Like, I'm around during these times. I won't hold my breath for you to ring me because you never fucking will. I don't even think an engineer needs to come here. I've been told several times that they don't because I've got a micro filter. I don't really, I don't need one. I don't need you to install it. I can install it. I really, really fucking wish that we just went somewhere with Virgin, but we didn't have a choice because we couldn't find a flat. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, though, if Virgin comes to this area, if Virgin connects up this building, I will fucking jump ship like that so fast. I'll be like, right, bye. And they'll be like, oh, you've got to pay this cancellation fee. I'm like, ha, fuck you. I'm closing my bank accounts down. <laughs> You're not having a penny. Fuck off. I'm going with Virgin. Oh, you want to know why? Look at my account. That's why. You're a mess of a company. I really genuinely wanted to be happy today, and several people tweeted me. Like I said, like, oh, beware, like, you're either going to get swarmed by tweets because I'm going to have access to the internet tonight, or I'm going to be pissed off because I don't have internet tonight, and everyone's like, oh, you're always miserable. Yes, because there's no fucking reason to be not be miserable, am I? Like, I have brief moments where I'm like, oh, this is great, and then I'm just swayed under by coursework, I'm swayed over by work, and I've got fucking shit companies to deal with all the time. Some of the companies I don't even want to talk to, i.e. BT, fucking all the others. And then fucking Plusnet mess you about like no man's business. All I want <laughs> is an internet connection. It's not hard. It's really not hard to just give me internet. Just this, it's there. The phone is there. ADSL works over the phone lines. Flick the switch, give me ADSL. Why, like, okay, I've ordered fiber. Install my fibre on the 20th, give me the data connection I require through this. I will deal with a slower speed until you're able to give me fibre, which better be soon. And I'll ring you to make sure it arrives. I just really want to just have some good fucking news, but I never get it. It's genuinely been nothing but bad news ever since I fucking moved. And I bloody love this flat. But I hate the fact that I have to fucking steal my very nice neighbour's internet that gave me their password. And I hate the fact that I have to go to the library, 20 minute walk to the library every day, just to use an internet connection. Just so that I can do my coursework. Just so that I can do anything. I really, really wanted today to be a good day. To be like, yes, Thank God for that. We now are okay. We've moved in. Like, that's it. That's home now. They say that home is where the Wi-Fi automatically connects. It doesn't automatically connect here. It automatically connects next door. Two months I rung Plusnet to organise my account. Two months ago. And they still haven't sorted everything. It's a joke. It's an absolute joke. And it's really not even funny. It's one of the worst jokes I've ever heard. Ugh. It's really bloody difficult to deal with this kind of shit. I'm going to get a phone call back tomorrow saying, oh, we weren't able to move the appointment. We can do Monday next week. And I'm like, oh, go fuck yourself. Go and just don't come to my house. I know I'm all right. Oh, it's not even over yet. Anyway, I've got work to do. So I'm going to do that. I was going to chop inside, so there's that to look forward to as well. <sighs> My best friend, the manager from Plusnet, has just rung me back. Um, the engineer will be coming around on the morning of the 20th. 
which means I'm not going to university because if I'm not available on that day, then we won't have internet until the 1st of December. Now that's an ultimatum, isn't it? And it's not an acceptable one. So, unfortunately, not going to university. Can't go to my lab. I can't go to my lecture. It's either that or not have internet. Also, it doesn't really fucking help me because I've got a deadline on that day anyway. So, I'm now, well, assuming when that deadline is, I'm going to have to be here. Well, I'm not going to be able to be at the library, am I, to inst- oh, anyway. Yeah, anyway, either way, someone's coming to the house on the 20th. Even though they said it'll be all okay on the 16th, I'll be able to do my coursework this week at home. No. But that's life. I'm waiting for Laura to come home. Um, and I'm playing Max Payne to kill some people. <laughs> and, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end the video there because um, we've come back from shopping, had dinner and stuff, um, and we are now just watching TV, really. I've just, like, had a shave and got ready for bed. Um, so I'm just going to render out the video now. I normally, like, finish the video just before I go to bed and then that's flawed because then I don't have time to render it and I have to do it in the morning. That's stressful. So um, I'm just going to do it now. Um, otherwise, the surface is attached to that. But I've got the keyboard on this, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, had a good shot. It's good to get out. Calm down. Um, but, yeah. Oh dear. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's about it. Um, what's going on tomorrow? Lectures. I've got to start focusing on my lit review now. Like, seriously focus on it. Um, now that Parallel's out of the way and it's all sorted. So, it's good. Soldier on. I'll catch you later.